hi Aquarius welcome to my channel so today we are going to do your monthly reading for the month of January 2021 and we will see what are the energies for you in this month all right so let's see what do we have for my Aquarians so for those who are new to my channel a warm welcome to you all and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please consider subscribing and hit the bell notification icon as well so that you will be able to get updated about my latest videos and this is going to be a journal reading it may or may not resonate with all of you and to book a personal reading by me you can dm me or message me in my facebook or instagram page by the name the magical aura you can also click the link for both of my accounts below which is given in the description box all right if you want so let's see what's there for my aquarians in the month of january 2021 so happy new year aquarians and happy birthday so let's see what do we have for aquarians and their person in the month of january 2021 so this is going to be a love reading for you let's see one more shuffle one more one more All right, so at the back of the deck, we have the Empress and Page of Swords. So I'm seeing that you are working online with some stuff over here. You are more, you are nurturing yourself. You are finding some growth in your work. Um, you are basically doing a lot of work for yourself. That is what I'm seeing. And your person might be even stalking you because you are into yourself so much that your person is like, you know, you might be not even talking to each other, but it seems like that you both are just... You know you are working on yourself and your person is more into you like what you are doing where are you up to what kind of more nourishments you are having so some kind of that thing which i'm feeling which i'm getting over here all right so uh let's see now so you are more uh, in a balanced form with the temperance over here your energies towards your person is very balanced uh it's like you know if they are here with you or they are not it does not matter to you it's like I'm balanced. I'm more into myself. I do not want anything, any kind of relationship right now. I am. It's fine for me having a relationship or not having a relationship. Everything is fine. Okay. So let's see what is the temperance. Why temperance is here. What else the temperance wants us. Okay. So ten of swords and with the sorry ten of cups with the queen of swords. So yes, it's looking to me as if you know. The family part is okay with me, but do not pressurize me to do anything, okay? So with the Queen of Swords, I'm seeing that you are over here, you are telling your person, you are trying to just figure out some stuff between both of you, and you are more into that energy that do not disturb me, do not just continuously, you know, poke me in anything. I'm more into myself right now. So just be what, do what you want to do and let me do what I, I want to do. Let's see why the Knight of Pentacles is there in your person's part with the Knight of Pentacles. What is here? Your person to me is feeling like, you know, they are in a very different mood, state of mind, I would say. It's like sometimes they are coming, sometimes they are going, sometimes they are saying that let's get married. Sometimes they are saying that, you know, I don't even want kids. I don't want to get married. See, well, this Hierophant came in reverse. So, yes. Uh, it tells to me it in more not in a marriage form okay they are really being very immature right now they are not very much in a great energy with you ace of cups although they want to start a new life but they are themselves confused they do not know what to do mm -hmm. let's see what else death okay so yeah they are in different states yeah sometimes they want an ending sometimes they want a new beginning okay so really let them give this time to themselves for some time okay so why the chariot is here in the blockage okay so might be dealing with a cancer over here mm -hmm. king of swords so your relationship is coming in that point where you know your 
your intellectual your that intellectual part with each other your different there is difference of opinions i'm seeing and you both are in a very different state you do not want you know when you are talking about love they are not talking about love and when they are talking about love it's like you are not talking about love so it's it's very much on a different you both love each other though but yes it's like we can move on but some sometimes your your how to say this sometimes it's a feeling of nah i don't want this at the end you know let's see what else do we have for the king of swords what else do we have the hermit all right see this is that stage where after so much of talking after so much of fighting now it's like let's get quiet now let's just take our me times and you just do your work let me do my work so that is what it is so let's see why the knight of swords is here why knight of swords is here in your part where you are i'm really getting that you are running away from the situation are you running away from your person what it is king of pentacles okay what else eight of swords so yes you are feeling pressurized you are under some kind of a uh, heaviness you are feeling that heaviness you are feeling pressurized with your person you want to run away and but you cannot yeah but you cannot that it is looking to me you are not going to take any action towards this relationship you are just going to stay silent because you are already feeling that kind of a heaviness in you you are feeling that you are in a state where you are like a feeling of being in jail right that kind of a thing a feeling yeah let's see why a person is see your person is like coming and going coming and going with the six of pentacles it's like they are trying to give the love which they have for you but you also have to accept it okay and when you are giving that love they really need to accept it but it's really not looking to me as the same thing you know a love relationship it's a give and take kind of a relationship you just cannot give and give and give and when it comes in receiving you know the other person is not giving you that much let's see why the six of pentacles is here five of swords yes it's like when they really want to give you the love it's like attention a kind of a uh, problem irritation people gossiping around you it's more about some other people around you whenever some other person tells you like what kind of a relationship in which you are in just think about it they really start thinking about it your person is like that you know they start they are being manipulated or are you the one who is manipulating them or what it is it's really different energy let's see the hanged man see they are coming to that point where they are just hanging now with this with regards with this relationship no like what to do i don't know with this relationship where it is going is this really love or is this just a time pass what should we do is you know when we say that it's a relationship but it's complicated so that's really the case today it's complicated Okay so let's see why the king of cups is here in the overall energy might be dealing with a scorpion or capricorn scorpio uh, scorpio capricorn taurus is here and who else libra okay virgo energy pisces energy so many things okay why the king of cups is here for the overall outcome what is the overall outcome of the situation page of wands okay yeah it's a very immature, immature energy i'm seeing with the moon see a very moody mood swings are coming up so outcome is pretty the same as well in the in the end of january as well i'm seeing that you know th same things are repeating you are uh, your person is being immature it's a kind of immaturity it's a kind of being a, a kind of mood swings and you both are really like off tangent you know in different tangents what else do we have 
yeah four of swords so this is more of a peace situation where let it just go now whatever will happen let's just you know trust the universe whatever will happen it will happen for good so that is a very optimistic ending though but still no one is going to do anything in this relationship i don't feel so all right so let's see what are the angel messages from the heaven for you from aquarians what are the angelic messages from heaven for my aquarians the message from your garden angel what is the message from your garden angel who is there in heaven let's see all right so i know it was unexpected but i am at peace please be happy so yes if you went through this kind of a situation like you know you loved a person and he or she like he or she is gone so it was unexpected but but they really want you to be happy to be at peace okay because they are also at peace and your garden angels are really there for you to help you and to be with you forever okay so just be there be be happy all that is all they want all right so that is all from my side aquarians i hope this helps and we will meet you in the next video till then bye